Morning, Brian and Chris. Here's the latest making news with containing COVID in the CNMI. On Saipan last night, the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation announced that the 50th confirmed case of COVID-19 is the first community-acquired case in the NMI in 93 days. The individual was identified through a mandatory pre-operation screening for a scheduled surgery operation at the hospital. Public health officials told media yesterday that 10 of its medical staff who had contact with the case are now in quarantine. They described the case as low risk and public health officials held a media briefing yesterday. Take a look. And I wanted to also, and I wanted ask, to for also ask for clarification on the operation, pre-operation screening. So this individual was negative upon pre-operation screening and then tested positive after operation. What was the exact uh, timeline there? No. The, the person was uh, identified um, as positive from a pre-op screening. But they did not go any, they, they did not undergo the operation? No, they, no, they, uh, well, we, we want to, I think we don't want to talk so much about the case in regards to, um, I don't, I mean, we want to respect the privacy of the, of the individual. So um, it was a pre-operation screening and the person went through surgery and, um, and w which is which is within stay with, still within our policy about whether or not even if a person presents as positive, a uh, the uh, um, moving forward with the surgery is not unheard of. And just to clarify, rumors that are spreading, then the test was not misread, was it? Before operation happened, um, misread is not the word we would use. Did you want to comment oh, on that? Or? No. <laughs> we have an in, we have an in, internal checking system, and uh, the internal check uh, showed that uh, that that person was was positive. The surgery wasn't a high risk surgery. The person wasn't a high risk person. We didn't put them at more risk. We didn't put us at more risk. It was just a delayed diagnosis. Meanwhile, the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation announced on Monday that three more individuals have been confirmed positive for COVID-19 on Saipan, bringing the CNMI's current case down to 53 since March. Of those 53 cases confirmed, 28 cases or more than have been, have been identified through entry screening, such as at the airport, and of the 28 confirmed cases identified through travel screening, they tell us that 20 cases originated from the U.S. mainland, five from a U.S. territory, and three from a foreign country. Brian Chris, that's the latest making news with containing COVID in the NMI. How are you feeling, Tomas? Feeling great, Brian Chris. Uh, uh, things uh, seem to be normal on the health side for me, so thanks, mm. uh, thanks for tuning in. How, how did your COVID uh, test go? What it was the experience well. uh, like? It didn't hurt. <laughs> it, it, it tickled, but um, glad to you know have access to a test and should be hearing back in the next day or two. All right. You stay safe. Thank you. Okay. In national news, the Democratic National Convention.